Talk to the Dons. They're waiting for you in the house. Talk to Don Gug. He might have some interesting things to tell you. Talk to Don... Glad to meet you, young man. I've heard a lot about you and your achievements. You've been a great surprise to us. You're welcome. What is it that interests you? Don Romato was my friend. Well, he still is my friend. I've known him since my childhood. Yes. You see, he's not of the Empire, and Rumata isn't his real name. Both of us come from a very distant land across the seas. He called himself Rumata of Estor for secret reasons. He had to pretend to be an Estorian Dawn in order to not be exposed. He's gone home now. He's very sick. It's not a physical illness, it's... it's mental. You probably know what had happened with this Arcanarian acquaintance, don't you? What? How do you know? Are you sure that Harata is connected? Why would he do such a thing? Well, then he definitely succeeded. Not only did Don Rumata go mad, he went on a rampage and caused bloodshed in Arcanar. He broke the oath not to kill without necessity. Every member of our order has taken this oath. He literally went mad. We managed to find him and take him home. This Arata is a scoundrel. You may be right. Nothing can be changed right now anyway. Now, if I've answered all your questions, I have to bid you farewell. His Grace Herzog of Irukin is suffering from Lubago again. Excuse me, sir, but I need to go to Irukin post haste. Also, I'd like to talk to the Noble Dons. We'll chat again soon. You gave us a lot of trouble, young man. Oh, really? A mischievous boy? Student and numbskull really thinks he's worthy to know what an emperor doesn't? Biting off a little more than you can chew, aren't you?
you have. But you're still extremely reckless. You disregard orders and are excessively independent. Nothing is impossible. The attempt on his life was carefully planned, but our agent still died. This was a factor that we didn't account for. As for Rumata, you were given several hints, but preferred to stay deaf and blind. No, actually I was hoping you would. So we've heard. We've cancelled the order to assassinate him. It's now more profitable for us to ally with this insurgent. Whatever they say at the Imperial Chancellery, he's still a consul. And if he actually is ready for the negotiations, we'd be foolish not to take advantage of this opportunity. You'll be under the command of our agent. He doesn't just work with intelligence. If you catch my drift... It's now your order, too. The agent's name is Rudy. Right now he's on his way from Soan, but he'll be staying at the smuggler's camp north of Arkanar's walls. This area is also called the Upper Bay. He'll be expecting you. All orders, contacts, money, and... Whatever other questions you may have, will go through him. He'll give you orders and plan your work. That's not your business. Your curiosity has gotten you in trouble once, young man. And you know what happened. I've already told you all you need to know. It would be good if you could manage to find Rudy in a week. In fact, consider it an order. You can't refuse and you can't run. You could try, and you might even succeed. But it would be in your best interest if you reconsidered the pros and cons and looked for Rudy. If you paid attention, you'd know it's already been given to you. Now go and do your duty. Excuse me, sir, but I need to go to Irukan post haste. Also, I'd like to talk to the noble Dons. We'll chat again soon. <laughs> 